Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa witnessed the conclusion of the Ironman Middle East competition this morning, where 1,500 athletes from 90 countries took part in the race, along with athletes from the Kingdom of Bahrain and the GCC countries as well. His Majesty followed the tournament, which included swimming, biking, and running tracks in which elite athletes took part. The event concluded with His Majesty's honoring of His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, national security advisor and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who finished the swimming segment of the tournament at 29 minutes and 30 seconds, the cycling segment in 2 hours and 30 minutes, and the running track in 1 hour and 43 seconds, clocking 4 hours, 6 minutes, and 53 seconds for the full tournament. His Majesty also honored the winners from the male competition segment with Christian Plamfalt from Norway securing first position, Daniel Bakiger from Denmark coming second, and Kasper Sorens from Norway in third. His Majesty congratulated the winners and the competitors in the field and wished them well. His Majesty conversed with the competitors who expressed thanks and appreciation for Bahrain for organizing this regional event and for all the efforts that have been made to ensure its success. His Majesty also congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad and the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports President of Bahrain Athletics Association, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the successful organizing of the event, representing the Kingdom in a positive light in the world of sports and supporting the Bahraini youth. His Majesty noted that the field of youth and sports are experiencing progress as the Bahraini youth continues with their achievements in all fields. His Majesty praised the level of performance that Bahrain's team has displayed and urged them to carry on with their efforts through training and preparation for future competitions. His Majesty also noted that the event displayed high levels of sportsmanship, adding that such events represent avenues through which friendship and cooperation can be nurtured among the athletes. His Majesty wished the rest of the athletes continued success.
His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, national security advisor and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports. His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation for His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's honoring for the winners of the Ironman Middle East competition. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that His Majesty's presence in the event affirms the degree of progress that the field of sports in Bahrain is experiencing and it demonstrates that His Majesty is the biggest supporter for youth and sports in the kingdom. His Highness said that it is a great honor for the event to witness His Majesty the King's presence, which His Highness said boosted morale and contributed to the long list of achievements in the era of His Majesty the King. At the end of the race, his Majesty presented His Highness Sheikh Nasser with the Iron Man medal for his participation, which consisted of swimming, cycling and running tracks, which His Highness concluded in 4 hours, 6 minutes and 50 seconds, which reflects His Highness's high standards of performance following many years of athletic achievements. His Highness affirmed that the race was close to registering a new record, especially in the cycling race, where he finished only two minutes behind the existing record. His Highness said that the wind affected his performance during the cycling race, especially after exerting himself in the swimming race. For future competitions, His Highness promised to break new records. His Highness said that the Ironman Middle East, which takes place each year in Bahrain, attracts elite athletes, among which are amateurs as well as professionals. His Highness said that this makes the competition more competitive and further improves the reputation of the games in the region. His Highness was present since early morning at the event's venue, where His Highness was determined to achieve the best possible results. His Highness finished the swimming race in 29 minutes and 30 seconds, the cycling race in 2 hours and 20 seconds, and the running race in 1 hour and 43 minutes. His Highness finished in second place in the competition, while the Bahraini athlete Mohammed Isa al ghais finished in first place in his category and was also the first among GCC athletes.
Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the three-day Ironman event came to an end today with the triathlon, with participants coming from all around the world to take part in this event. Not only were the awards given, but records were broken. More details in this report. Today was the third day of the three-day action-packed Ironman event, which was held at the Avenues Park. Cyclists started off their endeavors early on this morning at 5 a.m. I think the organization was quite uh, amazing because uh, we've seen a lot of volunteers, a lot of people on the course, and we did not feel uh, isolated. And uh, this is evident because we, we, we keep seeing more people coming to Bahrain. And this is the, the fifth uh, Ironman edition. And I think this, uh, this race has become a quite a, a highlight of the season, although it's the last race. But I think many people do uh, try to come to Bahrain for fast time. There was a variety of different events today the main of which was the triathlon, which is a multi-sport race with three continuous and sequential endurance races. This event is very successful, especially we have around 1,680 athletes and uh, we have around 95 nationalities. With support of His Highness and with his participating to this race, he's encouraged most of athletes, especially Bahrainis and, and, and GCC, many athletes from Bahrain, they become now well participate in this triathlon. The legends also participated in this event. They are some of the most prominent names in a variety of different sports, such as Sir Mo Farah, Chloe McCardle, and Mark Cavendish. Each of these athletes emphasized their eagerness not only to be participating in this event, but also to be in the Kingdom of Bahrain, where they have received a great amount of hospitality. It was a lovely race. Uh, we loved Bahrain. Uh, we enjoyed being here. Uh, and we may come again, actually. <laughs> we loved it. It's a very fast course. Uh, this is my third Ironman, half Ironman. Uh, and this is my favorite now. Sir Mofara also ended today's race with the third position. It's nice to be here in Bahrain. I really enjoyed today and yesterday. Today we were competing in the Ironman with myself, Mark Cavendish and Chloe, who teamed up, Team Legends, and I really enjoyed it. It's an amazing atmosphere. The crowd were brilliant. And we also see His Highness Sheikh uh, Nasir was taking part as well. Massive support. Uh, so many people at the finish line. It's just nice to be part of it. The race was good today in terms of uh, myself. Mark Cavendish run brilli uh, cycle brilliant. Chloe swam well and myself I run well. And we couldn't quite get that at the finish line. We finished third, but won the relay. So it was a good result for all of us. The event concluded with an award ceremony, which took place at 7.15 p.m., followed by the slot allocation, which took place at 8.15. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Abdurrahman al-Sahaf. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad al-Khalifa, witnessed the third edition of the Bahraini Emirati handball match, which was held between the Bahraini Barbar team and the Sharjah Emirates team held at Khalifa Sports City Hall. His Highness crowned the UAE team Sharjah as the winners following the result of a 27 goals to 26. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khaled commended the high level that the two sides presented throughout the course of the match, which clearly reflected the great preparations that preceded this confrontation. His Highness congratulated the Sharjah team and wished the Bahraini Barbar team better luck in upcoming events.
The President of the Royal Bahrain Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, witnessed on Friday the competitions of the Ninth National Day for the Beauty of Arabian Horses being held in the Military Sports Association in Rafa Sakhir. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa expressed his happiness at the remarkable success of the competition, expressing his admiration for the wide participation of Arabian horses in various groups and with the participation of a group of famous owners breeders, which reflects the sweeping popularity of horse sport in the Kingdom of Bahrain. He praised the organizational success of the first day in all respects and the distinguished media coverage, noting the efforts of the Ministry of Information Affairs to cover the competitions on the Bahrain Sports Channel Live, wishing success to all the participants on the second day of the tournament. The wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women and Honorary President of Bahrain Cancer Society, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, delegated Health Minister Faika bin Saeed Al Saleh to open the third combined Gulf Cancer Conference. The opening ceremony was attended by the President of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The event represents an opportunity to explore the latest advances in health services for cancer patients and backs the efforts of the Gulf countries to ensure prevention and early detection of the disease. Minister Faika Saleh stressed the importance of awareness to curb the disease, alleviate the burden of its treatment, and lower the death toll resulting from it, in line with the main goals of the Gulf Cancer Strategy 2016 to 2025.